this patient was referred to me in 2022, so a year ago, for endodontic treatment of tooth number two. You can see it decaying to the pulp. And uh, <laughs> look at these roots. These were 26 millimeter long roots. Okay, so here's the date. So you can see a year ago. And this was immediately after we did the root canal. Remove the decay, rebuild the missing wall there, and take a look. As I said, these were 26 millimeter long roots. And we did this in one appointment, and as you can see, everything went great. And here's the date, as you can see, a year ago. So we went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist. Again, this was immediately after we did the root canal a year ago. 26 millimeter long roots. And this was today, one year post-op of tooth number two. As you can see, tooth has a prefab metal post in it, crown, tooth is in full function, patient is asymptomatic, and as you can see, no disease associated with the tooth. One year post-op of tooth number two. And here is the date, as you can see, this is from today. So one year post-op of tooth number two, 26 millimeter long roots on tooth number two. People who know how challenging they are, they know. People who don't know, then they think they can do the same thing. But one year post-op of tooth number two, if root canals are done properly and the coronal coverage is good, root canals and the tooth itself will last a lifetime. One year post-op of tooth number two. Excellent.